Okay, our last part deals with how many rectangles there are. Um, and this is a great um, example of combinations and how combinations can be used to really simplify a problem. Uh, when I first would have learned how to do this problem, I'd have gone through and, and, and tried and listed them out. So for instance, I'd have started with how many rectangles do I have that are just one square? And I'd have said, well, there are 15 of those. And then I said, well, how many have two squares? And I would have gone through and tried to count up how many there are. Well, doing that would take a long time to figure out. So what's a better way to do this problem is to recognize that for when every rectangle you count, so for instance, let's count this rectangle right here. That's, that's a rectangle in this, in this picture. That rectangle is uniquely determined by picking this line, this line, this line, and this line. And what you find out is every rectangle is uniquely determined by selecting two horizontal lines and selecting two vertical lines. So the number of um, rectangles is just going to be the number of ways to select two vertical lines multiplied by the number of ways to select two horizontal lines. Well, the number of horizontal lines is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I want to choose two of them, so I do 6 choose 2. The number of horizontal lines, there are 4, and I want to choose two of them. So 6 choose 2 is 6 times 5 over 2 times 1, which would give you 30 over 2, which equals 15. So there are 15 ways to select two of those lines. The number of ways to select two of the a horizontal will be 4 times 3 over 2 times 1, which would give you 12 over 2, which is 6. So the total number of rectangles in this picture is 15 times 6, which would be 90. So it's a great application of choosing, but you had to just make the leap to understand how do I uniquely determine each of those rectangles. Um, another one would be a bigger problem. Now this one says consider the following figure made up of unit squares. How many rectangles exist that are of at least area five square units? Well, this one's a little bit harder because this one might result in having to choose a little bit. First off, let's think about how many total rectangles there are. Well, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine choose two, which is nine times eight over two times one, which is 36, right? Because that cancels to four, so there are 36 ways to choose two vertical um, lines, and then this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so there are seven choose two, so seven times six over two times one, which is going to equal, well, cancel out the um, uh, two, and so it's going to give you 21. So the total number of rectangles is going to be 756. That's the total number possible. So what can happen we know that we can't have more than that, but we know we actually have to have less because we know there are some that are of at least five, that are less than five square units. For instance, we know there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, that there are 48 that are just one by one. And so what we're going to have to do this way is actually list out all the possibilities. Well, the only way to get two is either to look like this or like, look like this. So the question is, how do I count that many up? Well, the answer is, I need to get one to look like this. I either need to choose um, uh, two vertical lines that are right next to each other and then two horizontal lines that are separated by one or vice versa. So for instance, let's do the first case. Case one is this one. This one says I need to select two of these. Well, how many ways can I select two of those? Well, the only way to select you know, the number of ways to select two um, horizontal lines that are right next to each other is six, right? I could select these two, I could select these two, I could select these two, select these two. I mean, there, there are, you, it's very easy to see that there are six ways to do that. And then the number of ways to select them go in this direction would be, I could select, I need to select two, right? I need this one and this one. So these two lines, and then these two lines. And actually, it turns out that there's one for each one of the lines that go on from here on, right? For instance, if I select this line, then I, I know I have to select this one. If I select this line, then I know I have to select this one, and so on. And so that, that means there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven ways to select two vertical lines that are separated by one in between, and six ways to select two that are right next to each other, that are horizontal. So that's going to be 42. If I do it the opposite direction, 
you're going to be able to see that there are eight ways to select two vertical lines that are right next to each other. That's very easy to see. And then there are five ways to select two horizontal lines that are separated by one, right? I can select these two, these two, these two, and so on. You can easily see that that's five. So there are 40 that look like this. Now I need to use um, of uh, area of three. Area of three, I only have two options for them to be rectangles like this or like this. So if they're, if they're like this, we know there are six ways to get um, separated by two. If they're separated by three, well, there's just one less. There are actually going to be six ways to do that. And so six times six gives me 36 that look like that. If I want that are vertical like this, I knew that there are eight that are right next to each other are vertical lines, and then one less than this because I'm starting here for my first one instead of here for my first one. So selecting this line, this line, this line, or this line, and so it's going to be four, so you're going to have 32 here. Then the number of ways to get four, well, there's actually three cases for this one. And this one's easy, right? That's just going to be six times two less than the original seven, so one less than this, which would be five, so there are 30 ways to do that. Vertical, again, there are eight ways to choose two vertical lines, and so now we need three, or separated by um, three lines, and so that's just going to be this one, this one, or this one, so subtract one more, which will give you three, so eight times three is 24. And then the last way is to do like this, and that would be, well, the number of ways to separate, we've already done this, to have it separated by two that are vertical would be um, seven, right? There are seven ways. That was the original thing we did. And then there are five ways to select horizontal lanes that are separated by one. So you can get a two by two. So that means there are 35 that look like this. So we add all those up and we're going to get 68, 98, 122, um, and 157. So there are 157 ways to pick out, uh, square or rectangles that have units of four or less. So if I subtract that away, that leaves me with 599 rectangles that must have area of four or more. Because we separated, we took out all the ones that have four or less, and so that means everything that left that is left must have five or more. And so there are 599 ways. So those are two different applications of uh, using um, combinations to figure things out and using just some basic combination co uh, counting principles.